there's a really interesting range of essays. We asked all of our essay submitters um, to commit themselves to the page. Um, so even though some are more academic and, and, and a bit more committed to sourcing and, and feel like they come from the mm, research or professor side, there's a warmth to those essays and a, again, a, a generous personal commitment where we, we asked all of the essayists to write in the first person and to bring their relationship and their connection and their sort of like interaction with the subject matter and keep it very explicit on the page. Um, but it's, it opens it up to show not just a reflection of what people always think is there, but mm -hmm. instead open up the narratives that are less that, that are not told as often. And that right. felt like, especially for the writers of faith, that challenge is to not simply reflect the expected, but mm -hmm. to, to elucidate what is, what's on the edges, what's on the margins. And I think as a piece between the voices, that, the various voices that we presented here, we decentralize, it, going back to that monolithic, we, we decentralize one image and instead there are several several different ones to be yeah. able to see. And, so, uh, large. and then this is a poem by Darlene Young that addresses what we were just talking about. What is the perception from the outside to the inside? Utah Mormon. Half of me fears you see me as wacko. Half of me knows you don't see me at all. Look at me. I'm heavy books, white teeth, organ music and casseroles. But I crank up you two in my car, same as you scream at God sometimes, haul myself or draggle through awkward misunderstandings. Still, I'll smile, my big white teeth. I'm the suit and the dress, spires and spurs. I am my people, bonneted, ancient, dusty as sage, but tangy. Let me get close and you'll hear the shiver of juniper, the cricket's dry thrum. I carry landscape in my blood, brown, haunted by green. Scrub oak fringes my dreams and out there across a weed scrabbled mountain valley, the cottonwood advertises a riverbed, probably dry. Always the possibility of a house sheltered there, always at the distance, I never arrive. The longing becomes destination, sweet in its way. Without the motion, I'd be bereft. Eve stuck forever in a garden going nowhere. Mormon is the horizontal of the flinty earth, the vertical of spires. Every year a camp out, every year the farm. We can't escape the land, but, it's, but it is never an end. Permanent nostalgia, a home made of homesickness.